Hi, Clint Ash, Crestview Wine and Spirits. Today, we're talking stemware. So there's a lot of options today in stemware. What you see here actually have stems. I know it's real popular right now to have some that are stemless. Um, I like to save those for sake or something like that. We'll, we'll talk about that more in, later in the video, but um, we're going to talk a little bit about champagne, white, and red wine glasses. Um, the champagne, the shape of the champagne flute facilitates the bouquet and the bubbles and it's really made specifically for champagne. It's kind of an animal all it's on its own. A lot of people ask me why is the Chardonnay glass so small and the, uh, and the reds are so big. Uh, you want to pick a glass that fits the type of wine that you like to drink. The bouquet or the aromas that come out of the reds, much bigger, bigger body, they have a lot of tannins and on the big bowls like this, this bowl is going to hold those aromas in as you put your nose deep down into the glass. You can get all those aromas and it also facilitates swirling the wine a little bit better. On the whites, you don't have all those tannins. You don't have the big, huge bouquets that the reds have, um, and therefore there's not as big a bowl. Uh, this happens to be a burgundy shape, a burgundy wine glass. It's shaped kind of that tulip shape, and then of course here is a kind of Bordeaux uh, Cabernet glass. Remember, drinking wine, 70% of drinking wine is the nose. It's aromas. Those aromas kind of change how everything tastes. So getting down deep into a glass, smelling the aromas before you sip, it makes the whole experience that much better. The big bowls facilitate those big bouquets of the reds. The last point I want to make about proper stemware is that it should be clear. A lot of people have cut glass, which distorts and changes the wine. You can't really see the wine. You want to be able to see the color of the wine. I'm going to pour just a little bit here so we can talk about it. A lot of times you'll be out at a restaurant and you'll have uh, a white napkin or a white tablecloth. And when you hold that wine over something white, you can see the edges. If it's kind of orange, you know it's maybe an older wine. If it's the edges are very purple and inky and bright. It's a, probably a very young wine. But you can hold that over the white area on your table and you can see the wine and know a little bit more about what you're drinking. Um, the, uh, the problem also arises with colored glass. A lot of people like colored glass um, and it really doesn't tell you a whole lot about the wine. So, and then the last point, please always hold it by a stem. So that's all we have for you in this video. Please leave your comments in the section down below. I read them all personally. We want to know what you like and don't like and what you want to see in the future. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, click the subscribe button. My name is Clint Ash, Crestview Wine Spirits, and I'll see you in the next episode.